Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2018 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we're here at the Hisense booth, and we have Rick DePiro. You probably remember him Everybody. from a couple years ago. And he's going to go over the new 100 L8D uh, projector. Yeah, well, it's, it's a laser TV. Okay, laser TV. And it's good to see you, by the way, James. You we, too. We, we watch that channel of yours. It's awesome. Oh, thank and you. Mark's behind the camera. He's cool, too. Um, we're thrilled about the technology. What, what we look at this as is the future of television. It's not like we're not proud of the technology that's there now with ULED and with um, uh, 4K and with 8K yeah. being developed. And all of that stuff is amazing. We all know that. But with LED, the, the tendency is, and it's not a, a slam to LED, but it, the, the ultimate viewing experience is being in a movie theater. Okay. Right? Yes. So you're in a big, dark room. It's completely black. And then you've got this vivid, huge screen. And yet there's no eye strain. Why? Because the light goes into the screen, doesn't reflect back. Got so it. you don't get all this ambient light that's like being in a stadium. And yet you have this fantastic viewing experience. Well, in uh, what used to be uh, similar type formats where it wasn't short throw, you'd get uh, an image thrown to a screen and it was altered by ambient light, like somebody opens a drape, somebody walks in front of the you know, the lens, and you see a shadow. This is all short though, so the only thing in front of it will be from seven or eight inches away from the screen. Okay. What you end up having is exactly the experience you'd have in a movie theater, except if you want to watch SpongeBob or a, a nightly news or whatever, you can do that, because okay. you have no reflective light, or almost no reflective light. It is a laser-based system. It, uh, the DLP chip in it is amazing. Uh, it works with... Uh, uh, every bit of our latest technology, and yet what I worry about, like for my for my kid, I've got a kid, uh, my son's going to turn 11, and kids today, because they're watching so many high-def screens, it's bad for your eyes. Nice. And all of us know I've got a 65-inch TV at home that's 4K. After an hour of watching in a dark room, my eyes hurt. Yeah. It's because the TV's pushing the light to you. In this case, there's no reflective light, so you can look at, we're standing within two feet of this TV. If you stare at it, there's no eye strain, right? That's, no. That makes it the ultimate version of television. Now, this is a lightweight system. It's got a four-speaker uh, Harman Kardon system in it. So you got surround sound plus a sub. Um, it comes all in. You hang the screen, which is not light. That's like 50 pounds. But you hang the screen. You put this down. calibrates itself with focus and all that stuff. You just move it to the distance you're supposed to. And you've got the best possible picture. Look at all the ambient light in this room. Yeah. And yet, a there's a great picture on the screen. It's clear. There's there's no... Um, you don't get any of the latency that you would get with something that normally doesn't run in 4K or in, in this type of image. Sometimes units like this in the past would have had a problem with uh, motion... Uh, Glitching or with latency, or with, there's none of that here. It's flawless, it's perfect, it's clear. clear. It's very, it's very clear. And the greens are green, the blues are blues, the reds are reds, the blacks are black. You know, it, it's, a, it's something we're really proud of. And I've been lucky enough, as you know, from when this was first introduced as a prototype about four years ago, yep. to show this. And then we got the little Oscar thing for the, the best of show, whatever it's called, the, the CES guy. Um, and now to see it at market. It's actually on the market right now, so we'll get one. Um, <laughs> it is an amazing thing. And, we're, and then we've got our prototypes for an 88 and an 80 inch. Okay. So using a similar technology, it's almost the same. So I noticed with the audio last year, the speakers were separate from Correct. the projector. What other features are different from this model and last year's model? Well, if you remember, the one we were showing as a prototype last year was the 4K. Okay. The one we showed as the show winner was the 1080. So that was just HD. Now we brought the one on the market as 4K. So that's a big difference. You know, okay. that, that shows you, and you can see it in the brightness, the brilliance of the, uh, the clarity, the, the contrasts. It's just, and we're running, uh, the color gamut is, is uh, Rec 709. So it's at it's, it's, you know, high level of, of perfection. I mean, we're dealing with the best of the best. Super fast processor, 25,000 hour uh, minimum life expectancy. So power hours, you, you run this a couple hours a day for seven days a week, and it'll last you over 17 and a half years with no trouble. Wow. Someone says, hey, well, how much would the, the replacement cost? It's like, who cares? It'll be hovering by then. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a lot of years. So we're, we're just, I'm thrilled because I've been watching this thing, and I wanted it to come to market, so now I just got to convince my wife, maybe you can help me, yeah. that, that no, I need one. I got so, the space. <laughs> so is this available now? It is. Oh, it's okay. available all across the country at the big retailers and many, and it's it's just it just came out a few months ago to market. Okay. So that was uh, I believe Q4, might have been end of Q3, but Q4. Oh, nice. And now you're going to see them all over the place wow. and uh, retail for just under ten thousand. And uh, when you think about that compared to like a hundred inch uh, ULED or yeah. UHD or 4K and different brands, 
um, you're looking at 20,000 plus. Correct. So right. this is, and no eye strain. You don't have to rub your eyes after watching a TV show. And it's pretty small. It's not that, uh, it's, oh, it's lightweight too. So everything's uh, included, the screen, everything's, the projector. You get the screen, you get the surround sound, all of it encompassed. The sound bar, because this isn't an installer product, it's a product you're installing yourself. We're going to make it as simple as possible. So having the built-in speaker system and the surround sound with the amp, you don't have to worry about having to connect the sound bar to your wall. Okay. It's bad enough you got to put up a screen, which is no big deal, but then you got to match the sound bar to the dip. So it's all in here. Okay. Well, thanks, Rick. Great to see you. You too. Let's not make it two years next time. Nope. See you next year. Bob, thank you. <laughs>